Hey everybody, this is Jedi Jesse 96 here with another Star Wars review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Star Wars The Clone Wars Clone Trooper with Space Gear. Or Space Trooper, whatever you want to say. Uh, so yeah, he's just a repaint of the basic uh, Clone Wars Clone Trooper. With the added Space Gear. So yeah, as accessories, he comes with this breathing mask thingamajig. Just tabs in there. Like so. Like that. Uh, he also comes with the jet pack, which I just thought I'd show real quick. Uh, it's just a little repaint of the jet pack that comes with the Clone Wars Obi-Wan. And, yeah, so, just a little bit of different paint on it. And, uh, ha instead of having a black missile, it has a brown missile. So, yeah. Um, the only other accessories it comes with, it comes with a DC-15 blaster pistol and a DC-17 blaster pistol. So yeah, real quick, I'm just going to read the bio, as I usually do. Clone troopers are outfitted with additional gear when a battle calls for them to leave their ships and venture into the vacuum of space for an extended period of time. Wearing specialized breathing equipment, they can move through uh, space to board enemy ships for attack or seizure. So, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the figure itself, uh, like I said, it comes with DC-15 blaster pistol, DC-17 blaster pistol. You can't store the DC-15, uh, anywhere, but you can store the DC-17 into this holster, which is very cool. I really like that. And yeah, you can take space gear off, so it's just like that. And you can even take this off, uh, if you take off the, um, the whole head. Which I'll just show real quick. Take it off, and just pop this off, because it just has some extra paint and everything. Nothing special. I don't really like to take it off, because first time you do it, it'll, um, for some reason it, like, makes it so the helmet is, or the head is very loose. So, kind of sucks, but, oh well. So yeah, also, forgot to show that the jetpack still fires the missile, so, bam. <laughs> Didn't even fire it away. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put this stuff to the side. So articulation is... Uh, again, since it's a repaint of the regular clone trooper, it's the exact same. His head can rotate 360 degrees, go up and down. His arms can rotate 360 degrees, go out, bend at the elbow, rotate 360 degrees at the elbow. Uh, his wrist can rotate 360 degrees, also go in and out like that. His waist can go 360 degrees, can also go like that, at the upper body. His legs can go forward and back, bend at the knee, rotate 360 degrees at the knee and his feet can pivot and rotate 360 degrees. So, very good articulation. Uh, no more articulation than the Clone Trooper, because, yet again, it is just a repaint. Uh, so yeah, size comparison next to Clone Wars Obi-Wan and the Clone Wars Clone Trooper. So yay, uh, not even gonna say it again. But yeah, they are the same size, because, you know. And, uh, he's a little bit taller than Obi-Wan. Take down his lightsaber. So, yeah. Overall, I give this figure a 4.5 out of 5. I highly recommend you pick it up. Um, it has very nice paint all around. Very cool accessories. Um, and just overall, my, um, like I said in the beginning, probably my favorite from the Clone Wars line. It's a very awesome figure, so I highly recommend it. So, yeah, thank you for watching my review, and this is Jedi Jesse 96 signing out.